As COVID-19 continues to keep students indoors, members of performance organizations have decided to make their bedrooms into rehearsal spaces and streaming platforms into performance venues. K-pop dance group K-Beat uses Zoom for group rehearsals and YouTube Live to broadcast workshops, though attendance for the workshops has been lower than usual. In Zoom rehearsals, members will run through a dance together and then perform individually for feedback. K-Beat co-founder and president K Su said that while the group has adjusted fairly well to virtual rehearsals, dancing over Zoom has posed some challenges. You don't really get that opportunity to get to know the dancers well and like their dance personality because everyone like dances differently, you know, so it is like a little more difficult. It's kind of sad <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, the way dance is this semester. Uh, I want you guys to try and go full out, but I understand if like you have like apartment like downstairs neighbors and you can't. Sue said it's difficult to learn choreography over Zoom due to factors like a flipped screen. Computer science and business sophomore Tejas Meta experienced a similar struggle when he virtually auditioned for co-ed fusion dance team UT Saya. It's pretty interesting, like uh, learning through Zoom, it's definitely much trickier than learning like with someone right in front of you because there's not that tangible aspect because there's the lag, there's all that flipped videos, so it's a bit trickier, but they've been very helpful holding office hours and just kind of helping you out throughout the process. UT show choir Longhorn Singers holds both virtual and in-person rehearsals. The choir is split into groups of five or fewer people called families, and these families each hold their own practices. At in-person rehearsals, members stay outside, wear masks, and stand six feet apart. We've created a schedule. We've had to stagger it a little bit, but so we have two physical locations. They're outdoors near the Butler School of Music. Two families will rehearse there, one at five and one at six. Hey, you with the pretty face. Mortensen said Longhorn Singers is using virtual socials to maintain a strong community amid this time of separation. Male a cappella group Songhorns is also stressing the importance of community, which was actually a big reason why they welcomed new members this semester despite the circumstances. We did want another new group or new guys this semester because we know it's hard, especially now, how everything is, like everything's online. We still want guys to have, you know, a little family throughout all of this. Several performance groups are working towards some form of public performance. KB will publish K-pop dance covers on YouTube, Songhorns will upload music to Spotify and Apple Music, and Longhorn singers will have families separately record songs in a performance space and then combine the footage into a show. I absolutely think it's going to be worth it. I can't wait to see how our show turns out and I I really hope that it's an opportunity for all of the members to feel proud and feel invested in something when maybe there's not a lot for them to get invested in this semester.